All right, let's get to some sports news now. Lois Chemnung clocked 35 minutes 11 seconds to win the women's 10-kilometer race in the national prison's cross-country pre-qualifier held today in Ruiru. Sandra Chebet and 2017 World Cross-Country medalist Lillian Kasait finished second and third respectively. In the men's race, Charles Muneria crossed the finish line after 30 minutes and 47 seconds ahead of Emmanuel Gattuni and Albert Tonui. The winners of the race will represent the prison's service in the upcoming national cross-country race. for the last one week. But na shukuru mungu, nime kuwa namba. Sai ni kuenda kuchitaidi, kuchikasa, ili tuwese tuka represent Kenya kule toko. Na ukiangalia, ukienda. And to volleyball, Malkia Strikers head coach Paul Bitok is focused on bettering his team despite topping the continent to secure a first ever qualification to the Olympic Games for the first time since 2004. Bitok says his team is a blend of both fresh and veteran talent, hinting at a smooth transition as the Kenyan Queens target a lengthy stay at the helm of African volleyball. It's a great moment for me and also for the ladies. They have been looking forward to be in Olympics for the 16 years and uh, this chance uh, came to us and we delivered to Kenyans. So we thank everybody for this. And uh, last time we played in World Cup, the result was not bad. We reached 20 to China, uh, Japan and these other big countries. So I believe that we can surprise if we have good preparation uh, more than three months and uh, maybe have international friendly matches. Uh, uh, we can go further and we can be the champion in Africa for a very long time. We have a mixed uh, team now of young and uh, uh, senior players. Uh, we, if we continue having the youth and the junior programs, uh, we will have a good transition and we will always be the champion. Away from that, Phineas Kimathi was crowned the 2019 Motorsports Personality of the Year owing to his efforts in returning Safari Rally into the World Rally calendar. The chairman of the Kenya Motorsport Federation was feted during the National Motorsport Awards Gala, along with rally personalities who highlighted the past season. Among the stars of the day was Baldev Chagar and navigator Ravi Soni, who scooped the overall National Rally Championship Award. Fighting hard and five years later clinching this title again is a very very uh, thrilling and uh, rewarding experience uh, we've had a very very uh, good year this year 2019 uh, obviously the icing on the cake was winning the candidate safari event the day that we know we're not performing anymore would be prob probably the day you say I call it a day so whilst we're still competitive we will do the best we can and the best is to win uh, to win another championship, to win rallies, to win stages. The competition, believe me, it's, it's really picking up. Um, it's a lot of people now uh, driving pretty well. So all right, now Cabra's Sugar RFC began the year on a high after hammering Nakuru RFC 38-0 in a Kenya Cup tie played at the Nakuru Athletic Club. Defending champions KCB proved too hot to handle for Black Blad getting an 81-10 win at the Ruaraka grounds in Nairobi. Menengai Oilers cruised to a 30-14 win over Mwamba, while homeboys defeated Impala 32-22.